like to thank you very much. I also want to say that as I am returning to the United States next week this will be my last session. While these sessions have been painful in a number of ways, they have also been enormously revealing. Without this last one in particular I wouldn't understand myself so well as I do, and I wouldn't know how to proceed further. I am very grateful to you for the tremendous help you have given me. 2. Student B. Man, age 45. Student. My koan is Mu. Rashi. To realize the spirit of Mu you must, without being sidetracked, travel along an iron rail stretching to infinity. One halt, much less many, will thwart enlightenment. The narrowest separation from Mu becomes a separation of miles. So take care, be vigilant. Don't let go of Mu even for a moment while sitting, standing, walking, eating, or working. Student. I can't seem to get anywhere with Mu. I don't know what I am supposed to understand or not understand. Rashi. If you could truly say I don't understand after profound reflection, that would be convincing, since in truth there is nothing to understand. In the deepest sense, we understand nothing. What can be known by philosophers and scientists through reasoning is only a fraction of the universe. If we imagine this fountain pen I am holding to be the entire universe, what is intellectually knowable is the very tip of the pen. Can any philosopher or scientist really say why flowers bloom or why spring follows winter? When we aren't conceptualizing, the deepest part of us is functioning. Student. Interrupting. Yes, I see that clearly, but. Rashi. Continuing. So if you can honestly say I don't understand, you understand a great deal. Now go back and work on this koan more intensely. Student. Excitedly. I know what Mu is. This is Mu in one situation. Picking up the Rashi's baton. In another this would be Mu. Lifting another object. Other than that I don't know. Rashi. That is not bad. If you really knew what you meant by I. Don't know, your answer would be even better. It is obvious that you still think of yourself as an entity standing apart from other entities. A summary of my morning lecture was given in English to all the foreigners, I understand. Were you present? Student. Yes, I was. Rashi. Then you know how imperative it is to abandon the idea of a myself standing in opposition to others. This is an illusion produced by a false view of things. To come to self-realization you must directly experience yourself and the universe as one. Of course you understand this theoretically, but theoretical understanding is like a picture. It is not the thing itself but only a representation of it. You must let go of logical reasoning and grasp the real thing. Student. I can do that. Yes, I can. Rashi. Very well, tell me at once what the size of the real you is. Student. Pausing. Well, it depends on the circumstances. In one situation I may be one thing. In another, something else. Rashi. Had you realized the truth, you could have given a concrete. Answer instantaneously. When I reach out with both arms this way. Demonstrating. How far do they extend? Answer at once. Student. Pausing. I don't know. All I know is that sometimes I feel I am this stick and sometimes I feel I am something else. I'm not sure what. Rashi. You are almost there. Don't become lax now. Do your. At most. 3. Student C. Man, age 43. Students normally state the nature of their practice as soon as they come before the Rashi in Dakuzan. This student's practice is Mu. But his statement, my practice is Mu, has been omitted to avoid tiresome repetition. Student. I feel Mu is everything and nothing. I feel it is like a reflection of the moon on a lake, with no moon and no lake, only reflection. Rashi. You have a keen theoretical grasp of Mu, 
a clear picture of it. In your mind. Now you need to take hold of it directly. There is a line a famous Zen master wrote at the time he became enlightened which reads. When I heard the temple bell ring, suddenly there was no bell and no eye, just sound. In other words, he no longer was aware of a distinction between himself, the bell, the sound, and the universe. This is the state you have to reach. Don't relax. Strive on. Student. I have a complaint. Last night while waiting to go to Dacuzan I was brusquely shoved and pushed and shouted at. I knew this prodding was intended to spur me on, but all the same I felt resentful. Rashi. It is because you think of yourself as an I that you resent this kind of treatment. If your body and mind were 100% united with Mu, who would be resenting? At that point you are like a simpleton, or like a punching bag. Whichever way you are pushed to go, because your ego, your willfulness, has been banished. That is the time you directly realize Mu. Upon reaching this stage you are free of all resentments. Student. Yesterday I reached the high point of my effort. My zeal, you said, was up to 95%. But today my burning desire has suddenly left me. I feel completely discouraged. I don't know why. Rashi. Don't become discouraged, it is that way with everybody. If you were a piece of machinery, you could function steadily at high speed, but a human being cannot. Consider a person riding a horse. If he is a good rider, he doesn't gallop his horse one moment and slow it down to a walk the next. By keeping it going at a steady trot he is in a better position to elicit a burst of speed when he wants it. If you relax completely and continue indefinitely at a walk or, what is worse, stop from time to time, it will take you a long time to get to your destination. The trouble may be that consciously or unconsciously you are thinking. If I don't get Kensho at this session, I will get it at the next. But if this were your last session in Japan, you would become desperate and your desperation would sweep you right into enlightenment. Take these people attending this special session 14 with you. They have only one chance a year to attend session, and they feel that if they do not attain Kensho this week, they will have to wait another year for the next session. So they do Zazen with tremendous energy and devotion. Three of the group have already gotten Kensho. Don't relax your efforts, otherwise it will take you a long time to achieve what you are after. Student. My mind is freer of thoughts now than it has been for most of this session, but I am still bothered by a few recurring ones. I suppose it's because I have read so much about Zen in the past and reflected on it. Rashi. Yes. You will realize your true nature only after your mind has become as empty of thoughts as a sheet of pure white paper is free of blemishes. It is simply a matter of engrossing yourself in Mu so totally that there is no room for thoughts of any kind, including Mu itself. Rashi. Don't be heedless even for an instant. If you are attentive while sitting in Zazen yet permit your eyes and mind to wander when you arise, you disrupt your concentrated mind. Are you following what I am saying? Student. Yes, I am, but all this really has nothing to do with me. I am always attentive. Rashi. Well, it is possible to be inattentive without realizing it. Besides, there are degrees of attentiveness. If on a crowded train you are watchful that your wallet is not stolen, that is one kind of mindfulness. But if you are in a situation in which you might be killed at any moment. During wartime, let us say. The degree of your attentiveness is far greater. To become lax even for a second is to separate yourself from Mu. Even when you go to bed continue to absorb yourself in Mu, and when you awaken, awaken with your mind focused on Mu. At every moment your entire attention must be concentrated on penetrating Mu. So much so that you become possessed, like a lover. Only then can you awaken. Asterisk asterisk asterisk. Rashi. You know how to do Zazen properly. You also have an excellent mental picture of Mu. But to actually experience Mu, you must discard this portrait of it lodged in your discursive mind. 
the roots of ego-strengthening ideas are deep in the subconscious mind, out of reach of ordinary awareness, so they are hard to eliminate. To get rid of them you must become absolutely one with Mu when walking, eating, working, sleeping, excreting. You must not only concentrate your mind but control your eyes as well, for when the eyes aren't riveted down thoughts arise, the mind stirs, and before you know it you have parted from Mu. As I have said, you know the proper way to concentrate, but your concentration is still weak. You have a tendency to dawdle at times or to busy yourself with extraneous matters. While this is not bad in itself, it is fatal for one aspiring to realize his true nature, as the mind is constantly being distracted. You will become enlightened only after you have poured the whole force of your being into oneness with Mu. Student I struggle with might and main to become one with Mu, but because that which is not Mu is equally strong, Mu doesn't prevail. As a matter of fact, the stronger Mu becomes, the stronger the force opposed to it, so I have come to feel that I am between two worlds, one dead, the other powerless to be born. Frankly, I am at a loss to know what to do. A greater strength than what I possess is necessary. Of this I am convinced. Rashi. What you are trying to do can be compared to this. Pushing one hand against the other. Once you realize Mu, you know that nothing can be opposed to it, since everything is Mu. Now you can begin to appreciate why the Kyosaku is used. 2. Help you exert yourself beyond your normal capacity. But as you dislike the Kyosaku, I can ask the chief monitor to slap you hard on the back from time to time. With that as a spur you can mobilize greater strength and energy than you have up to now. Asterisk asterisk asterisk. Rashi. Were this a certain large monastery and you came before the Rashi in Dakuzan as you are now doing, he would sharply demand. Show me Mew. If you couldn't show him, he would warn you not to return until you could. Dismayed, you would find excuses to stay away from Dakuzan for fear of being rebuked because you had no answer to Mew yet. On the other hand, if you didn't go voluntarily, you would be yanked off your seat by the head monks and pushed or dragged into Dakuzan. Not knowing which way to turn, you might out of sheer desperation produce the answer to Mu. For a variety of reasons we don't employ such measures here. But exert this pressure on yourself. Come before me feeling that, come what may, you will demonstrate the truth of Mu. Now go back to your place and do your best. Rashi. I see you still haven't penetrated Mu, why not? You begin by concentrating intensely then you slacken off. For a time you hold on to Mew the way I am holding on to my baton. Grasping baton tightly with both hands. Then you relax like this. Dropping baton. That will never do. When you walk only Mew walks, when you eat only Mew eats, when you work only Mew works, and when you come before me only Mew appears. Prostrating yourself, it is Mew that prostrates. Speaking it is Mew that speaks. Lying down to sleep, it is. Mew that sleeps and Mew that awakens. Having reached the point where you're seeing, you're hearing, you're touching, you're smelling, you're tasting, and you're thinking are nothing but Mew, suddenly you directly perceive Mew. Rashi. To come to the realization of Mew you must get into the state of a lover, who has a mind only for the beloved. Ordinary people concern themselves with any number of trivial details. The time of day, their daily dress, random thoughts which enter their minds. But a lover, with the mind centered wholly on the beloved, is in a trance-like state. The lover is rather like a simpleton in that his or her mind focuses in but one direction. You will surely become enlightened once you attain to such single-mindedness with respect to Mu. Student at different times you have told me that every single object is Mu, that I am Mu, and so on. What am I supposed to do with these hints? Think about them during my Zazen, and if so, in what way? Rashi. No, don't think about them in your Zazen. These hints are for the moment only. If they open your mind to the direct awareness of Mu, well and good. If not, forget about them and return to questioning what is Mu? Student, 
a little while back when I was concentrating simply on Mu, my powers of concentration were fairly strong. I could easily focus my mind on Mu without the interference of.